It'd be too good. It'd be too seasoned. I forgot to show you. I'm sorry. Here is the finished product. It looks so good. This movie is crazy. I was not expecting that. I would have to take myself out. Just to just to wear the shirts. It kind of like orange to me. Hey Lachey Bays, welcome back to another video. If you guys are new, make sure you guys scroll down and hit that subscribe button. If you guys are not new, then welcome back. Make sure you check out my socials, because if you don't have me on my social media, then baby girl, what are you doing? You're doing nothing, obviously. If y'all didn't see my last vlog, I literally just ended it. Ignore my elastic band, because when I just looked at the footage of me ending that vlog, I realized my lace was lifting a little bit, but I'm not about to fake it and refilm that. <laughs> I, I told y'all I was going to be starting a new vlog. I don't have Analea tonight, so it's really just about to be chill in the house vibes it's going on 4 30 right now she went to a basketball game with my mom and yeah i'm just happy to have a little peace and quiet because i haven't had Ooh, i'm trying to talk too fast i haven't had a babysitter in a long time when was the last time the last time in alaya stayed the night over my mom's was when i had the miscarriage which was literally exactly a month from now i haven't really got a break in a long time or like had like a babysitter in a long time and i'm not trying to go nowhere i'm not trying to go turn up i don't that's really not my vibe like i kind of been hinting at i've been trying to change just my atmosphere how i present myself my environment just so much so if i do go out every now and again when i start going out again it's gonna be like jazz lounges um, speakeasies, poetry, stand up, you know, I don't want to go to the club no more. Like I had my little couple times I went to the club when I was 22, 23. It was cool. I just don't want to be in that environment no more. I'm staying in the house tonight. I just really want to have peace, quiet, talk to y'all, just chill. So that is what this vlog is going to be giving. But y'all, I am so hungry. I literally have not eaten since this morning. I was cleaning up. I, want to, I don't want to say all morning. I need to edit that TikTok really quick before I really get into vlogging. But that's my thing. I need to eat. So I'm about to make my food really quick. And then I'm going to edit. Yeah, I've been really, really consistent on TikTok. So I'm not going to keep on telling y'all to follow me. But just know the content over there, yeah, top tier. The mini vlogs I've been doing, i just been posting like pretty much every day. I filmed me cleaning and I did like set a timer with me to see how much I can clean in an hour or something like that. That's something I do all the time. Like every day, I might set a timer for 30 minutes. I might set a timer for 45. I might set a timer for an hour. Because I be tired. I be busy. I be needing to clean. I be having so much to do. I be like, if I don't have all day to clean, I'm going to at least give myself 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour to dedicate this time to at least cleaning up as much as I can. I feel like that works very well with me. Obviously, everybody not going to be like that, but I feel like it worked well with me. We are going to get into a couple things in this vlog, though. I'm about to show y'all how I learned how to make quesadillas. I mean, it's pretty easy to make quesadillas, but I made my first quesadilla yesterday, and it was so good, and it was so quick and easy. Like, that's what I'm about to eat, because I've been thinking about that since lunchtime, and I asked Analea, did she want to make some? And she was like, I think I'm not hungry no more, because she finished her quesadilla that I made yesterday so I didn't eat cuz she didn't want to eat no more she said she was full now I'm hungry and it's 4 30 how that work all right y'all so let's get into the package I was sent from Jolie she I'm so excited to show y'all these new pieces if you didn't see my last video I completely got rid of probably about a hundred items out of my closet I did a complete closet clean out I'm happy to be able to kind of fill in some of the spaces in my closet with the new version of me and just the way I'm trying to change my fashion aesthetic and how I want to present myself. So, yeah, let's just get into the pieces I was sent from Jolly Sheep. Firstly, like I think I told y'all, this one-piece jumpsuit is from Jolly Sheep. It is very, very comfortable. It's just a solid black, super, like, literally so comfortable. I love the way it fits. And it does kind of flare out at the bottom, but I like it a lot. It does have like this little lining right here that kind of 
gives it like that cut but it doesn't have a corset or anything in it the material is super stretchy breathable but i like that it's not see-through definitely something you can wear in the spring summertime this is for sure super cute and i will be dressing this up and wearing this a lot this next one is a set it's a two-piece set and i think this is so freaking adorable it is like this new two-piece set i had told myself that i was going to not really show a lot of belly skin i have been wearing just so many crop tops this shirt is cropped so it's still kind of like my vibe but it's helping me trend transition into the new vibe i'm going for which is not really showing skin yeah i like that this two-piece set the pants has this like flip over so instead of it just being regular pants like it flips over and it like scrunches and i think that is just so cute just another little casual loungewear piece. I like this, but you can definitely dress it up or dress it down. Just be cute, casual, whatever. I did get this in a size large, and one thing I will say, I am 5'4", and I do wish the pants were a little longer. They do flare out. I don't care. I love me a wide leg or a flare pant. But yeah, I do wish that these were a little longer, maybe like the length of the jumpsuit that I had on. But all in all, this is really cute, and I would definitely be getting a lot of wear out of this. And I think they have this in, like, two or three colors, if I'm remembering right. Y'all, these pants are a freaking vibe. As you can see, it has a little fringe on the side. Super cute. I paired, I paired it with just this regular little pink shirt. Super long. I got these oversized. I got these in an extra large because I wanted them to be nice and loose so I can wear a fitted shirt with it just to kind of balance everything out. And I think these look so cute. I just love how nice and flowy they are. And I don't know. They just fit so good on me. So I did get these a size up because I wanted them to be looser. It says that girl right here. And I mean, I feel like everybody should in fact feel like they're that girl. Definitely 10 out of 10 recommend these. These are so cute. Like, ah! I want them in 100 colors. I love me a nice oversized lounge cute y'all this dress i cannot wait to go somewhere in this dress look at the detail look at the detail on this dress y'all so freaking beautiful this is 100 percent my favorite piece out of the entire haul like this dress is so bomb i don't absolutely gorgeous somebody let's go to brunch like let's go do something i don't have to take myself out just to just to wear this dress because it is just so pretty i love it the details on the sleeves like i just love it <laughs> it's so oh my goodness the detail makes it look like it costs way more than it actually does on charlie sheet definitely 10 out of 10 recommend 10 out of 10 recommend this is a two-piece set it's a skirt crop top combo the top is jean, like kind of like jegging jean. I thought it was going to be actual denim and then turn into the skirt. I really can't remember if that is what it looked like on the website, so I might have to go back and look. Or if it looked like this and I just assumed it was going to be actual denim. So this is still really cute. I like the concept. I just probably wouldn't wear the two together because I thought this was going to be actual denim. So it can kind of have like that texture to break apart the outfit if that makes sense. But it's not bad. It's just not what I was expecting. This dress is super cute. It's thin though. It is see-through. So I definitely have to get a slip because I know you can see my underwear. I can see my underwear in the mirror. But it is super freaking cute. And y'all see, look at this. I love stuff like this. I might be a little dramatic. I mean, it's just me. So, also to top it off, it is my favorite color. So, you will be able to see through it. So, maybe just get like a fitted slip to put underneath it. Because I'm definitely keeping this and I will be wearing this. I'm just going to have to give me a slip to wear underneath it. Alright, so this dress is really cute and different. I think it can definitely be dressed up and look more elegant. I just need to figure out how to tie this piece into the loop-de-loop -loop, because it came like this. But this dress is really cute. It's really comfortable. I love all these little pink overlapping parts. 
It does have this long piece on the side that I thought definitely dressed it up. I just have to figure out how to loop this because I honestly just don't know how to loop this. And I've tried a couple times. So other than that, this is really cute. I don't know. Is this how you do it? I mean, I guess you can just do it however you want, but it has to stay. So I'm just gonna do it like that for now. And then also I got this two piece short set. I tried this one when I tried on all of the clothes the other day. And I'm not gonna try it on for y'all because the shorts are pretty, pretty tight. I don't know, I thought these were gonna be looser, but I probably should have sized up and a little shorter than I thought. But the shirt is really cute. I can actually store it on over here. The shirt is really cute. And it's one of those shirts you can tie like this, you know, with some cute jeans or something. Period. Cute. That's everything that I got from Jelly She. I want to give a huge thank you to Jelly She for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I will put my coupon code on the screen so you can save some coins, baby. Hang on. I'm going to just keep this on for a couple more minutes. So, last night I was going to make me another chicken quesadilla so i had already tore up like my chicken and i'm trying to think do i want some more i gotta get a little bit more because i like a lot of chicken in mine so let me tell y'all something it's literally four things i'm using right three things four things i literally at first when i went to the store and i knew i wanted some chicken quesadillas i was gonna buy some chicken tenders shred them up do all of that just to make the quesadillas then i seen a rotisserie chicken and the rotisserie chicken was literally like $5.99. If you don't know what a rot, I didn't already tore this one up. <laughs> if you don't know what a rotisserie chicken is, it is just like an already cooked chicken that you can get from like the grocery store. And it be warm, it already be cooked, and it be really juicy. I don't know how they get it juicy, but it be really juicy. I'm about to just take some more of this meat and shred it up a little bit. But yeah, oh my gosh, I made these for me and Leia yesterday for lunch. I was gonna make another one last night, but then I got tired. So I didn't even eat nothing last night, and that's probably why I'm so hungry. So definitely, if you're looking for something quick and easy, you got kids, don't have that much time to cook, go get you a little rotisserie chicken. Here's the kicker. First of all, let me pull out my um, griddle so it can get warm. Put a little black pepper on the chicken. Put a little smack your mama. A little garlic powder. I'm gonna take my little hands. If it seems like I'm rushing, I kind of am because I'm hungry, y'all. I'm really hungry. And I want to get this TikTok up at a decent time. And I still need to edit it and do a little voiceover, which it really don't be taking that much time on TikTok. Got my chicken nice and seasoned. What T Grizzly say? He said it'd be too good, it'd be too seasoned. Grab me two little flour tortillas. So all we need is Two tortillas, or you can use one and then just fill up one side and then fold it. Chicken, and then this actually was in a can. This was canned tomatoes, but it was like a salsa. Canned tomato chili salsa. If I do this, next time I do this, I'm gonna actually show y'all the can, but I ended up just putting it in this Olive Garden container because I knew I was gonna wanna make me some more quesadillas because it was so good. Mozzarella cheese, y'all. So I'm about to whip this up really quick. I'm gonna sit y'all right here. I do not have on my kitchen light. My light bill last month was $300. $300 for an apartment. So I only got on one light right now. <laughs> Just work with me, baby. I got on the oven light. Y'all, why I forget I was recording for y'all? I started recording a TikTok. <laughs> oh my God. So, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna make me another one later on tonight because I don't feel like cooking nothing else. But I literally just put my tortilla, my mozzarella cheese, and then my chicken. I'm about to put some of this salsa on here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that tomato chili salsa. And then I'm gonna top it off with some more cheese. All right, now I'm about to just put my another tortilla. Now, before I flip this, y'all, me personally, I'm put a little bit more butter. Mm, toast it on that side. Okay, so this is what it looked like when I flip it. I'm about to let that cook until this other side brown. Look, that was so quick, y'all. I literally just made that in like two minutes. I'm about to just let this other side cook. While that other side is cooking real quick, I'm going to just go ahead and put all my little stuff up, like my chicken, my butter. I know this ain't how they cut it at the restaurant, but hey, this is all I got. Is this the 
ain't no cut. Okay, there we go. There we go. Voila! I'm about to have lunch. Dinner. All in one. <laughs> it looks so good. Nice and cheesy and chickeny and saucy. Oh my god. Let me show y'all a quick close up. Yes, nice and full, just like I like it. I do not like when I go to a restaurant and they don't have no chicken in there. And I can barely feel or taste the chicken. It's just cheese. So good. And just with a little sour cream. Y'all, I didn't tore up this first quesadilla without even... I forgot to show y'all. I'm sorry. So good. So I'm about to chill, eat, just get some quiet. Probably scroll on TikTok for a minute. I want to, for some reason, y'all know I told y'all I was not here and I just want to like spend time with myself. It's now going on 6.30 and I took my nails off a couple days ago and I have some more press ones. I have like two packs of press ones. I typically keep press ones now because that's all I be wearing. But for some reason, I want to just paint my nails. Like, Analea has a bunch of nail polish and I just bought her like some new colors and stuff and I just want to paint my nails. I don't know if this is me just like wanting to. On this healing journey, I have told myself that whatever I feel like doing, as long as it's not going against the will of God, I'm, I'm going to do it. So, I'm like, I want to paint my nails for some reason. I'm going to sit and I'm going to cut something on TV, whether it's Netflix, a movie, YouTube, whatever. And I'm just going to sit and spend time with myself and paint my nails. I don't know if it's because I feel like it'll be therapeutic. I have literally been thinking about this since yesterday. I just want to paint my regular fingernails. They are super short. It's going to be super short, but maybe that is something that i need to just start doing i just been saying i want to paint my nails like i just want to paint my nails so that is what i'm about to do so this is my nails right now they're really so short so i'm gonna do myself a short little mini i don't even know what color i'm gonna do i know Emily i have white but i don't even know she might not even have white no more so i might come out with a weird exotic color i know she has yellow green she got pink she got purple so we're gonna see what color i come back in but yeah this is the before and i'm about to chill for i don't know how long and i'll just pop back and talk to y'all all right y'all i just finished my nails here are my nails so pretty hold on let me pause this i'm watching this really good movie right now I've been looking up on TikTok movies that are like good to watch or whatever. This is on Netflix. It's called I Care A Lot. It's like two hours long. It's actually, what, an hour and 58 minutes? <laughs> but I'm 51 minutes in. It's really good so far and I can tell it's going to get even better. I wanted to show y'all my nails before it got dark. So these are my nails. And I am just so happy with them. Not, like obviously they're really short. But... Not to mention, y'all, it was so therapeutic and just, like, fun to sit here and just paint my nails. Like, it felt so good feeling the paintbrush, like, go along my nail. I don't know. So, maybe I'll just start painting my nails for a little bit and maybe let them grow out. This will probably help me, like, not bite my nails because whenever I don't have nails on, I bite my nails. But I've been purposely trying not to bite my nails since I took my nails off because I knew I wanted to paint them. Oh my goodness, they're literally so cute though. I know I keep putting them in the camera, but, so yeah, I think I did better on this side because this is my left hand and I'm right handed so it's not perfect but I am really happy with it. It's so funny because I'm literally very happy with it. I don't know. I think I'm just going to start painting my nails. Maybe I should start painting my nails like once a week y'all. It was really fun. Like literally. But I'm about to finish watching this movie. I care a lot. This is on Netflix y'all. I really think y'all should watch this because it's really good so far. And I just know it's going to get even better because this is just like the build up of everything i'ma check back in with y'all when it's over though because what makes a movie complete to me is how it ends if it don't end good it ruined the whole movie so i really hope this has a good ending they've been building up for 50 minutes so we about to i think hit the peak and then watch everything go watch this movie right now y'all go watch this movie right now it's long but it is so 
good. This movie is crazy. I was not expecting that. I literally was not expecting that. And these are, I love movies that have an end that I did not expect. They really did good with this. I love a director, a writer that really takes their time. What is it called? We used to talk about it in school. With the climax, the, what is it? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, when it goes up, then you hit the climax, then you kind of, like, go down and you hit the end of the movie. Yeah, they they did really good. Every step of the way, they did that big one, for real. But, y'all, the solar eclipse is tomorrow. And if you don't know, I live in Indianapolis, which is the center of Indiana. And we are having the longest solar eclipse um, out of the whole eclipse. They talking about everybody get gas and stuff. So I got a gas station right by my house. I think I'm about to run and go get some gas. It's literally, it's 9.13 now. But I was like, why not just run out and go get some gas? Maybe go get me a snack or something from the gas station. Because I never can just go out at night and just go grab something. Because I always got in Alea with me and she goes to bed at 8.30. I was like, let me take advantage of me being able to just run out in the middle of the night well technically not the middle but be able to run out at night but i'll probably see y'all in the morning or sometime tomorrow because i'm about to go get some gas get some snacks come back and probably watch another movie i'm chilling tonight i feel good hey y'all it is the next morning it is 9 not 9 30 10 38 um Analea is here i picked her up for my mom this morning, my mom had to still work. She working from home, but she still had to work. It is Monday. It is April 8th, which is the day of the solar eclipse. I went this morning to the store just to grab a couple more things. I went to the grocery store. Was that yesterday? I went and got a few things yesterday. Yeah, that was yesterday, earlier in the day. I went and got a few things yesterday. And then um, I wanted to go and grab a couple more things today just for the house. Y'all know it's a lot of conspiracies, a lot of things going on. At the end of the day, if Jesus come back, I'm going to be so, so, so happy because I know that I'm right with God. I know that I have truly been trying to live by his word, especially for the past few weeks. I have repented. I have asked for forgiveness. I have forgiven people. So if Jesus come back right now, baby, thank you, Lord. Because this earth and this world is crazy. But I just want to show y'all the things I got. I did get like some canned goods. I got two cases of spring water, which I actually left down in the car. I'm going to go back and get them later. Because I had to carry up all these cans and stuff. And it was just a lot. But I'm going to give y'all just a quick haul of just a couple things I wanted to have in the house. Because we won't be going out today. We're not going out. Now, we will probably just go outside in our neighborhood. But we're not going nowhere to have like no solar eclipse party or nothing like that. I don't know why it seems like these batteries are dying so much much quicker than they were but maybe i just been getting a lot of footage i know i did film last night but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all this stuff like i said i did get two cases of spring water i'll bring them up later on though so i got three packs of these kool-aid jammers for analea just to have in the house i told myself yes this is a household of two but i need to start buying more stuff that we can keep for a long period of time just in case anything ever happened because the government be on to stuff that we don't be having no clue about like we could go into war anything could happen sometimes i feel like we just go like on our day-to-day -day life i'm not gonna speak for everybody but I feel like me, I just go my day-to-day -day life. I go to the grocery store. I get enough stuff to last me for like a week or two. And then I'll be good. And then I just do that same cycle. So I told myself, I'm going to start buying like little stuff like canned goods. And just stuff that will last a longer period of time. So anyways, y'all know I start rambling. But I got two blue packs. Two blue packs. And then I got a purple one. I know I told y'all I was going to not get her like the package stuff because I had heard that it was having like mold and stuff in it. But I like these because you can actually see through them. I got some strawberries. I got some strawberry shortcake little cakes. I told Leia I would make some. I've never made her any. I don't know why, but I wanted toasted strudels. A couple more yogurts. Mango punch. Strawberry lemonade. Green beans. Pineapples. More pineapples. Because you never know, you might have to eat out of a can one day if we get a blackout. You never know. Corn. Fruit cocktail. I got a few Meyer brand raviolis. And some spaghetti -o. Peas. Peach chunks. Sliced peaches. Some more of these uh, Meyer brand spaghetti -os. 
So that's really all I got. I mainly just wanted to make sure I got lots of water and some canned goods. I am about to edit that TikTok of me cleaning I was telling y'all about because I want to get that up today because I know everybody is like, well, a lot of people is off work and a lot of people is not in school. So today will be a good time to post um, before the solar eclipse starts. I also want to post a video on YouTube today, but I don't know, like... I know everybody gonna be so focused on the solar eclipse i don't know if i should post today so maybe i'll just post that later on like maybe at like six what was uh what else is i gonna do i'm gonna put this little stuff up in the freezer oh not in the freezer i'm gonna put this stuff in the refrigerator real quick cans inside the cabinet and then um i'm gonna check back in with y'all later on probably after i get myself together because i do need to film this sponsorship because I need to turn it in. I already started. I just need to get like a little bit more footage and that's probably only going to take like an hour because it's just a TikTok reel combination. So yeah, I'm going to see y'all later on. We are going outside to watch the eclipse now. I just got our glasses out of the car. It started early. I had to wake up Leia from her nap and everything because I didn't know it was going to start. It said it was going to start at 3.06 in Indiana because y'all know we getting like the actual total eclipse. Like we're going to have it for the longest time. But it's like 2.25 and it's already starting to cover the sun. So we're about to just go outside and I got us a little blanket and stuff. We're just about to chill and watch it. So I will see y'all there. Oh my gosh, this is so uh, cool. Yeah. Look at the glasses, y'all. Look at my glasses. <laughs> Hold on, let me tell them something. I didn't know that you could literally only see it with your glasses. I thought they were saying, I don't know, but when I put the glasses on, I can see the moon covering the sun, okay. like right now as we speak. If you see a little ant, it's okay. But I'm gonna try to do it on the camera because I did on my phone so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Like that is so freaking cool. Like the moon is literally covering the sun. That's so cool. But yeah, yo you better see it. <laughs> She said, well, you better see it. We just chilling right here by the house, looking up. And Yo, look. Look at the glasses. Look. Look. Okay, I'm about to show them. Let me show them. Okay, where is the sun? It is so bright. Okay. Okay, do y'all see that? The sun is so bright, you literally... It's just, where is it at? Because there's no way that's the sun. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the sun is so bright, you can't barely see anything. Like... Mm -hmm. Can y'all see it? Yeah, you can see it. Look, y'all. Look. Y'all see how it looks like fiery red? Y'all see the moon covering it? The moon is literally covering the sun. Oh my goodness. My mom was right. She was like, you gotta see it because it's a once in a lifetime experience and I'm happy that I brought Leia out for us to see it because I don't know. I just think it's so cool now. <laughs> That's the earth sun. We're on earth. Remember I told you we are on Earth. We're walking on Earth. And the sun and the moon is in the sky. Sun and the moon. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. Leia, look at it. Wow. It kind of like orange to me. <laughs> wow. And it kinda so, it kind of looks like nighttime in these guys. Well, the thing is, when it hits three o'clock. It is going to get really, really dark outside. And then it's going to get really, really sunny again. Hold so on. when it gets really dark, you got to hold mommy really tight so nobody can try to get us, okay? When the sun going to hide the um, moon, we to put our glasses on and then we're going to see the... Um, eclipse. Eclipse. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at the sun. Oh. I told you it was going to get completely dark. Wow, Leia. Wow. Hey y'all, it is a lot later. I just finished. Um, I had to film a video, edit it. I got it sent over so that I can see if they want me to do any re-edits um, and everything waiting on approval. <sighs> There's so much going on right now. So if I'm a little off, it's because there's things going on in my personal life right now with my family. But I'm not going to mention it right now. But I promise Analea I will make her some strawberry shortcakes today. So that's what we're about to do. I still have not invested in a fruit spinner. I really need to get one. But honestly, it, it hasn't been a priority. So we're just going to clean the strawberries like we normally would. We normally are okay. So I'm about to... 
I'm actually excited to have some strawberry shortcake. I haven't had it in a while. Let me make sure I cut my phone up. It's just me and Leia, so I'm only gonna do half of the container of strawberries. Seven strawberries, and I'm about to just cut these in like small, medium size pieces, and I'm gonna come back after I cut them. I didn't cut that many, but it's enough for us. I'm about to transfer these over to this bowl and add some sugar. I'm gonna just take my container of sugar, one of my containers of sugar, pour some sugar, ooh. And then we're gonna mix this around and it's gonna make like its own little juice from the strawberries and the sugar. And then I'm gonna let the strawberries sit in the sugar for mm, probably about 10 minutes so that I can make the juice. This is what it looks like right now. Lock the little top on there and let it sit for like 10 minutes. This is after it made the juice. Normally what we would use growing up would be like the little thing of the glaze, but I'm not gonna lie, I totally forgot. Ooh, my eye is itching. I totally forgot about the glaze at the store. So, we about to work with a little strawberry jelly. I feel like it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm about to just put some strawberry jelly in here. Mix it up real good. I mean, glaze, strawberry jelly, <laughs> same difference, right? And then this is really pretty much it. I'm gonna put this inside our little cakes with some whipped cream. And I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like when it's done. Here is the finished product. It looks so good and I haven't had one in so long. I did my big one with that. Chili dogs, one of Leah's favorites for dinner. She's so happy. Well, that completes today's video. I'm about to go ahead and make my play and chill out with my baby. It is 7.40 now, so we're kind of having a late dinner. But yeah, I'm about to make my play, chill out with my baby, and, you know, just vibe for the rest of the night. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.